Met owners Steve and Alex Cohen were in attendance, along with Tom's widow, Nancy, their two daughters, Sarah and Anne, and Hall of Fame catcher Mike Piazza. The statue is located to the right of the home and apple in front of City Field. This is a wonderful way to honor Dad's legacy, and to celebrate his wonderful years in New York, said Sarah Caesar, Tom's oldest daughter. The Mets have been working on this for years, and to see William Barrett's vision come to fruition is so exciting and very touching. We are thrilled to share this with all the fans who supported Dad throughout his career. There is a reason he was called the franchise, said Mets chairman, CEO and owner Steve Cohen. You can't measure what Tom Seaver meant to this organization. This magnificent statue will be a wonderful daily reminder to Mets fans coming to City Field that Tom Seaver is forever a Mets legend. Sculptor William Barrents, who designed and sculpted the Willie Mays statue outside Oracle Park in San Francisco, Tony Wynn's monument outside at Petco Park in San Diego and for over the last 30 years sculpted faces onto the Borg Warner Trophy for winners of the Indianapolis 500, was commissioned for the Seaver statue. Tom Seaver's larger-than-life presence on the mound and his dynamic pitching delivery were both a challenge and a rich inspiration to me as a sculptor, said Barrents. I am most grateful to the Seaver family for being so generous with their time and sharing stories of him and insights into the extraordinary man he was. The statue of Tom Seaver features his iconic drop and drive delivery and is two times life size to scale. The statue is 10 feet high from the Gretna Pitcher's mound and 13 and one half feet in length. The total weight of the statue is 3,200 pounds, 2,000 pounds of bronze and 1,200 pounds of structural stainless